So in this video, I'm gonna take you through my Facebook ad creative formula. This is the formula I've been using now for the least, the last three to four years, I'd say it's my go-to formula. Every time I'm having a Facebook ad creative made, I ensure that I include all of these things. So I'm gonna take you through it step by step. So when you're next having a Facebook ad creative made, a video creative made, whether you're making it yourself or using one of these softwares or services, just make sure that you include all of those things. So when you get that first revision through, then you can go back to them and say you want them to include X, Y, and Z. All of these things are really important. I'm gonna take you through each one step by step and just explain along the way the benefits it has and how that will transition to getting more people onto your store and more people purchasing your product. So that's the top of the video. Thanks for tuning in, hope you guys enjoy it. If you wanna see more of my content, just make sure you hit that subscribe button too. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. So step one, the perfect Facebook ad creative formula. The very first step is a scroll stopper for all attention. So on the left-hand side, I've taken different screens screenshots um, from a particular ad just to give an example I'm not saying these are perfect examples that you should follow step by step and sell this exact product this is purely for demonstration purposes so step one is a scroll stopper for attention what most people tend to forget when they're running ads on a social media platform is they're running ads on a social media platform people aren't on that platform to buy products people don't go into Facebook to buy things unless they're in the marketplace but generally speaking most people are just scrolling through their newsfeed mindlessly um, not really thinking or doing anything probably just passing time or spying on friends they're not necessarily there with their payment information ready to buy something or in that buying mood so what you have to keep in mind is exactly that so whenever you're running an ad on a social media platform you need a really good scroll stopper to get people to actually stop scrolling and take a second or two um, to watch or consume your creative. Step two, the very next thing you need to do with your creative is make it crystal clear who you are trying to target. If you try and target everyone, you'll be targeting no one. So in this example, we can see it says children seven plus absolutely love this. So anybody who sees this creative and sees this particular scene or this slide, if they know a child over seven plus, so whether it's a grandparent or whether it's an actual parent, the beauty of Facebook is you can actually target parents with children this age. So you know, you, you're only pointing it out really. So when people see it, they think I've got a child that's seven over the age of seven, therefore this is for me, therefore I'm gonna watch it for a few more seconds to see what it is. You could even be really more specific at this point and say for grandparents who have, or for people who have grown children or seven years old, or for grandparents who wanna be the best at Christmas or something along those lines, just really call out who it is you're trying to target because then when it gets put in front of that right person, they're gonna stop and listen to what you have to say. Step three, once you have their attention, then you need to say exactly what it is you're trying to say, the message you're trying to put across or the product in which you're trying to demonstrate. So in this instinct, it's an indestructible RC plane. I'm a big fan of including like a feature or benefit of the product in the actual title name just to give it a bit more information and a bit more kind of you know make it a bit more appealing for the viewer um, in this case I would actually obviously we're not using still images this would be a video ad creative this is just purely to show you what the product is but you would demonstrate and show the product in its full glory so for example with this RC plane you'd have clips of children follow flying it around their garden flying it around the park or whatever it may be step four once the customer knows that this product is for them and they know exactly exactly what the product is. You need to make it crystal clear what the benefits are to the customer. So a popular question or a frequent question I get asked is how long should my video ad creative be? There's no real kind of golden rule I would say. I've seen video ad creatives of like five or six seconds do really well. I've seen video ad creatives of two minutes do really, really well. It's more a case of quality over quantity. Don't make your ad 10 minutes long just for the sake of it. But if you can fill those full 10 minutes of valuable information, which are gonna help encourage your customers to click your ad and make a purchase, then by all means do. So just make sure you put all the benefits across to the customer without putting anything in there that is boring or gonna cause them to kind of lose concentration or focus or interest um, and scroll on. So just quality over quantity and make sure you point out the benefits to the customer as clearly as possible. So in this case, gets children outside off screen. Screens. Step five, answer the FAQ, the frequently asked questions about your product. This is a really important step because people who have hesitations behind a product or questions about a product 
don't buy a product. They want to make sure that they are crystal clear on what they are buying, where their money is going, when they're going to get their product, what the product is all going to be about. And if you leave any of these questions unanswered, then you run the risk of people leaving your site without making a purchase. So for particular products like this, it can be will not break guaranteed, which is probably a really important one for a children's toy because they don't just want to spend money on something that's going to break the first time they use it. Number two, it could be whether it's rechargeable and how long it takes to charge. Um, and how long playtime you get out of it, because that's gonna be interesting or important information for a parent to know. Number three, they'll wanna know whether it's waterproof or not, because especially here in the UK, when it rains like 60, 70% of the time, is that gonna wipe out the majority of the year in which somebody can actually go outside and use this product because it is an outdoor toy. So all of these questions and things that you think a customer might wanna know about a product, it's really important that you take a couple of minutes and write them down in a notepad if you need to, um, write down everything, maybe put it to some people, friends or family that you know and say, hey, what do you think to this product? And all of those questions that come back, just make sure you try and answer them um, as well as possible in your video ad creative. And trust me, it will make a huge difference um, to what your click through rate will be and what your conversion rate will be. Step six, also another important point is social proof. This is kind of like a two-way thing. So number one, I definitely include it in your actual video ad creative. And then number two is the actual engagement and comments on the actual post, the actual um, ad itself. You can run engagement campaigns, that sort of thing to build up those engagements because that's gonna be important. But including it in your actual video ad creative is important too. So this is just a very basic example. What I would probably do um, is have all the reviews on your product page that are imported. Um, do a quick screen recording of just you scrolling through the different reviews so people can see the images, people can see the star ratings. Um, and what it does is people want to feel like they tr they want to trust somebody before they spend their money with them. And plus, if there's been hundreds of people before them which have bought the product, it's going to make them feel a lot more comfortable buying from you as well. So just make sure you do those sorts of things. Um, and again, it's going to have a dramatic increase in your CTR, your click-through rate, the amount of people who actually click your ad and go to your Shopify store. Last but certainly not least, probably one of the most important things, in fact. In fact, if you've been in the dropshipping game a while and doing your research and seeing other people's Facebook ads, you've probably probably seen it in comments before of people saying, how do I buy this? We want to try and avoid that as much as possible. We want to make it as crystal clear as possible. Trust me, you cannot underestimate the stupidity of some people. Um, no, regardless, to be honest, of how clear you make your call to action, there's still going to be people that post that, but we want to do all we can just to make it as crystal clear as possible how you buy what it is we're offering our customers. In this final step, you can include many different things. Number one, you want to make sure you have a call to action. So what do they do now? It can be click shop now or go to this link or whatever it may be. And then you can also include scarcity as well as an offer. You can include one of them. You can include both of them. Um, it's completely up to you. Perhaps something you could even split test yourself. In this example, I've gone for a cheesy message of stock is flying fast, kind of like a pun. Shop now and get 40% off. And so with that being said then guys, short and sweet, um, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have, please do drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my content. I really do hope it gives you some clarity on or at least a formula, some kind of more information to follow when it comes to getting your next Facebook ad creative um, created. If you've watched my previous video on how to diagnose and how to fix any failing Shopify store, if you failed at any of those first few steps of not being able to get people to click your ad enough or engage enough, then hopefully some of the steps in here you haven't included, you can go back to your creative, include them, run those tests again, and it will bump those results up and hopefully help you start making some sales and more importantly, um, some extra profits. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.